Most of. I gotta keep it real. Nasty work, y'all. Look what he posted. Look what he posted on Instagram, y'all, on social media. This man is wearing a dress. Who would have thought? Most deaf is wearing a dress. Now, I'm going to keep it 10,000, y'all. They got him. They got him. They got him. There's nothing else to say. They I don't usually do this, but uh, that most deaf, but you're tripping. You really tripping, my boy. You go from goddamn telling Drake he not hip hop to putting on a goddamn Roddy Roddy Piper dress like a wrestler. So that's what hip hop is. Bro, I never in my life do lame shit like that. I feel like this shit lame. But bro, I got to say something, bro. That shit is lame with the f you did. Now you just made that really look like hip hop. And you look like a hater. FYI. Cardi. A thong, my nigga? Oh my god. <laughs> Why the fuck is you in a thong, fool? I had so much hope for you, gang. You scammed my nigga Aiden. I said, fuck that. You hit your girlfriend. I said, fuck that. Why do you have a thong on? Painting nails and shit. Kissing out and shit. I'm going like these. What's wrong with you, my nigga? We Be yourself. Be free, baby. Yeah. Another one, they got Usher to wear a dress. That's a damn shame. In the black culture, that they always make them wear dresses and skirts if they want to get put on. Who, who was we? Were gonna... And then who's doing the Super Bowl? Oh yeah. Is he black Irish? Uh, Good evening, Usher. How you doing tonight? All right, all right. How are you? I'm doing fine. Even better now you're here. All right, give me a look over here, Usher. Give me that great smile here. Give me that Super Bowl. Give me that Super Bowl smile, Usher. Give me that Super Bowl smile. You got more money on that necklace than I got my house right here. Go on, go on. Shalom, shalom. First and foremost, I want to start off to give the highest honor, glory, and all praise to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Racha Kwadash, double honors to the apostles, bishops, and elders of Great Millstone who teach and do revel and taught me the truth out of the Bible and amongst other things. Peace and salutations to the elect scattered to all four corners of the earth, my fellow laborers who push in this work and word in truth and sincerity all across the globe. Shalom. So, yeah, man, you see it, man. Uh, most deaf, you see here on the picture, Yasin Bey, you know, wearing a skirt with a dress. So, hey, man, that is what they do in Hollywood, man, in the Hollywood business. These actors, these singers, you know, they all got to go to that humilia uh, humiliation ritual, you know, be humiliated and uh the de degenerate man you see and that is what uh, uh the, the, these these artists need to go through man in order to make it man to be put on man and that is what we see in this guy over here playboy cardi you see caught wearing a tongue and that was from a few days ago man so this is what they do with all these artists man in order that uh, if you want to make it, you got to sell, sell your soul, man. You got to sell out yourself, man. And, and who's responsible uh, responsible for that? That is Isa either, man. Because they are controlling these things. And mainly Amalek, man. You see? Because they got all these businesses. They got all these record labels. They're controlling Hollywood. And they are make sure that uh, Jake is, 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 is uh, humiliating himself, man. You see? Kid Cudi. You see? Gone. True. <laughs> you see? That is what they do with our people, man. And Jake is take the, bite, the bait, man. Usher, also a good example, you know. And that is also, uh, Daddy came out also, you know. You see him here. That freak, you know. <laughs> that weirdo. Sleeping, wake up with Usher. You see that since Usher was little, you know, he was sleeping with Usher, man. And that is what they are doing in the game, man. And Cat William was talking about it last time, you know, that uh, what all these 
you know, exposing the whole game. But he's also uh, wear, uh, was wearing a dress, man. So they all do it, man. You see, Dave Chappelle, all these, all these artists, man, and all those who came out, because really, uh, uh, Mos Def, a.k.a. Uh, Yasin Bey, you know, he was always uh, criticizing these things, you know, that, you know, about the game and that the, the hip-hop game is controlled by uh, the small heads, man, you see. And now, you know, they got them too, man. <laughs> you see? So that is what is going on, man. In order to make it in the game, you got to sell your soul, man. You see? And a, a man, you know, you cannot wear a, a woman's dress, man. Especially the law of the Israelites, man. You cannot wear a dress, man. Wear this, man. That is, that is, you know, now you, you the complete and you see the countenance, everything changes on him, man. man. Yeah, man, let me go to a scripture, man. Bear with me. Khan, this is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 22 and verse 5. Because this is the law, man. It's the law of the Israelites, man. You see, uh, the woman shall not wear that which is pertaineth unto a man, neither shall a man put on a woman's garment, for all that do so are abomination to the Lord thy power. So this is forbidden, this is in the law. A man cannot wear a woman's dress, man, and, and vice versa, a woman can wear a man's dress, man. And nowadays, everything here in Babylon is, 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 is switched upside down, man. You see? Because we live in, it in, the, in a really, really, really wicked place, man. The Edomites don't uphold the laws of the heavenly father, Yahweh Bashem, Yahshai. They're against him. And that's why he's Satan. And Satan means a deceiver. He's against the heavenly father. Everything that the heavenly father, Yahweh Bashem, Yahshai stands for, he's against it. And that's why he's also against our people. Because they know if we are in tune with our power, that it is game over for these devils. And that's why they have a, such a big hatred and uh, try to uh, frame the Hebrew Israelites, man. You see? Because they hate the one that is upright. They don't like, the, these devils don't like uprightness, man. They are only about wickedness, man. You see? So that's why these, 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 these jakes, these two thirds, they sold their soul, man. Onto what? For, for mammon, for money, man. They sold themselves, man. You see? That's why they're going through all these rituals, man. To, in order to make it, man. To be on the, on the screen, to make, make it in Hollywood. That is what is going on, man. And Cat Williams, you know, he he was he was spilling and all the tea, man, about all what they what they're all doing behind closed doors, man, on these parties, man, selling their soul, man. Jacob being bog breaked, uh, that guy Terry Crews, you know, he was also in the Me Too movement, and people start to laugh. A big guy like you, you are gonna let somebody a, a small a small. A small head, a small, <laughs> you know, a little devil uh, uh, s s basically set up my shoe, man. You see? And that is what is going on with our, our people, man. They're being accumulated because Esau wants to keep our people in a degenerate state. And through these uh, so-called celebrities, they try to push that wicked vibration to all, to all our people, man, to be degenerate. You see? That is what they are doing, man. <laughs> you see, so let me go. Cause let me go to another scripture, because hey, man, riches, these riches ain't gonna profit you, man. You see, in the day when Yahweh Bashem Yahweh is gonna come, man, and that is gonna go, it's gonna be soon, man. You see, this is Prophet chapter eleven and verse four. Riches profit not in the day of wrath, but righteousness delivered from death. You see. So these riches ain't going to profit you nothing when the destruction is going to come. And especially in Babylon the Great, man, when the terminal nuclear missiles is going to going to destroy America, man. It just ain't going to help you, man. You can go in your bonkers like Rick Ross, you know, build your bonker, uh, you know, try to be a prepper. It ain't going to be, it ain't going to help you, man. The heavenly father is going to find you and destroy you, man. And especially you're going to start with our people who sold themselves, man. You see, who are the generates, the two thirds, man? The heavenly father gonna destroy them if they don't repent, and a lot of them ain't gonna repent because the love of money, man. You see, so yeah, man. Uh, let's go to another scripture. This is the book of uh, 
Zephaniah chapter 1. Because it ain't going to help you, man. All your money, all your, all your wealth, everything that you accumulated in, the, in these years by through selling your soul. It ain't going to help you, man, in the day of destruction, man. The heavenly father is going to destroy everything, man. This is uh, Sephaniah chapter 1 and verse 18. Neither the silver nor gold. Uh, let me see. Uh, let me start with 17. And I will bring distress upon men that they walk like blind men because they have sinned against the Lord and their blood shall be poured out as dust and their flesh as uh, the dung. And that is what is going to happen with the great destruction, man. The, the, the second death, you know, that is going to be with terminal nuclear fire. You know, the first death was with uh, water, with Noah. And this is going to be the second death, man. A lot of people going to die, man, you know. By fire, man. He's going to burn all the wickedness of the earth. He's going to purge all the wickedness of the earth, man. You see? Neither their silver nor their gold shall be able to deliver them in the day of the Lord's wrath. You see? It's the Lord's wrath, man. In the day, you ain't going to be delivered, man. You can hold on to your, to your money and all your, your gold and everything that you have, all your possessions. But you, it ain't going to help you in the day of destruction, man. But the whole land shall be devoured by the fire of his jealousy, for he shall make even a speedy riddance of all of them that dwell in the land. And, hey, let's state it in the book of Revelation, man. In one hour, that great city, and that means Babylon, America, is going to be destroyed, man. You see? And it ain't going to help you, man, all your money and everything that you got, man, all your possessions, man. You're going to be destroyed by the heavenly father, man. You see? Because he's going to put that spirit in these, uh, in these missiles, man. To do what he uh, to do his bidding, man. For prophecy's sake, man. You see, so that is what is going to happen, man. So you, you, you so-called you niggas, man, that are, are selling yourself out, man. You know, the heavenly Father going to destroy you, man. That's why a lot of you are are, are dying, man. Now, man, because the heavenly Father is want to get rid of you, wicked jakes, man. You degenerate people, man. You see. So let you go to the book of Matthew real quick. This is the book of Matthew chapter 16. Because the Lord is sick and tired of our people, man. You know, still sell their soul to these devils, man. You know, still, still, still uh, taking bribes from these devils, man. Try to be like these devils, man. We are a set apart people, man. We are a holy people unto the Lord, man. But we, Jake is strange, man. You see? So this is the book of Matthew, chapter 16, at verse 26. Let me go over there. For what is a man, uh, for what is a man profit, profited if he shall gain the whole world and lose his own soul? Or what shall a man give in exchange, exchange for his soul? And that is what it is, man. What you're going to benefit, man, that you, you, you see it? You get you gain all the money, all the riches, and so that ain't gonna profit you in the day of destruction when the heavenly father bring that that, that that destruction upon the earth, man. What is gonna what is gonna be in no in null of void, man? You're gonna have it is go, not gonna help you, man. You see? But now you lose you lost your soul. You sold your soul to the devil, Esau Edom, the so-called white man. Because he is doing this, man. You see? And our people are falling for the bait, man. Only for the money, man. And I know Jake because Jake don't have nothing, man. If you come from the from the ghettos, you know you've been always oppressed by these the, the same devils. Of course, Jake, if they get a little bit, then they're gonna be glad, man. But Esau Edom is using you. You see, that's why through music, the 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 degenerate music, through 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 gangster rap, to bitches, hoes. He's using that to, 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 to keep our people down more and, and really destroy themselves, man. And that is what is going on, man. And these devils know that that music is a weapon. You see? With frequencies, everything. These devils are thinking everything terrible true, man. Don't make no jokes. Esau Edom is not stupid. Because they know, the elites know who you are, man. That you are the Hebrew Israelites, man. That you are the children of Yahweh Bashem Yahushai, man. That's why they are doing this, man. And they're all against you, man. You And Jake, you need to stop, man. But you ain't going to stop, man. Because only for the money and the fame, you're selling your soul, man. 
all these freak parties, all these things that you're being entangled in, uh, in you're going to be destroyed, man. You see? It ain't going to help you, man. So let me go to another scripture. Bear with me. Yeah, man. So Jake is selling the soul, man, for, for, for nothing, man. It's cheap, you know, only for the money and, and, and the fame, you know. Hey, you know what our blessing is, man? When this, this world is going to go down, man, we're going to be up, man. You see? Esau is the end of the world. Jacob is the, is the, the, the roughly paraphrase, is the beginning of it that follow it, man. We're going to be next, man. It ain't going to be Russia. It ain't going to be China. It ain't going to be none of these nations, man. We're going to be next, man. We're going be, be, to be restored again, man. But we need to go through this hell, man. Because why? We went in captivity for our punishment because we offend and sinned against the Lord, man. That's why we are in, in this condition, man. We are more excellent than all these other nations, man. The, he, he, hey, if Jake, the music, even all these, all these Edomites and all these other nations are looking up to you, man. With the music, with your sports. With uh, it, uh, in, uh, uh, inventions that you make, you know. Jake invented a lot of things, man. Even the GPS that we use uh, every day, man. It's created by Jake, man. A so-called black woman, man. But Isa ain't gonna push it in the front. But still, it is there. It's out there, man. All this information, man. You're a beautiful and a peculiar people, man. The Lord loves you, man. But we need to come back to the law, statutes, and commandments of the Heavenly Father. Be under His uh, wing, man. You see? Even in our uh, degenerate state that we are still, we are shining, man. We are a different breed, set of people, man. And that's why the other nations, they want to uh, destroy you, man. And especially Esau either, man. Uh, pursuing the book of uh, Psalms, chapter 83, man. You see? This is a Sirach, chapter 10. And verse uh, 9, why is earth and ashes proud? There is not a more wicked thing than a covetous man. For such uh, and one set it his own soul to sail, because while he liveth, he casteth away his bowels. And that is exactly what Jake is doing, man. You see? Because Jake, he don't want to suffer. Jake don't want to go to this punishment that the Heavenly Father put on us, man. Because this, a lot of Jakes don't even understand that that's why we go into this. They, they be like, why are we always at the bottom? Why this is happening? The answers is in the scriptures, man. Then you're going to know why, we're gonna go, why we go through this, man. The answers is in the scriptures. Then you know who you are, man. Know your identity. And if you know that you're Hebrew Israelites, then you got to listen and study, man. You see? And listen to the prophets, man, that been set up by the Heavenly Father, Yahweh Shem Yahushai. Because he speaks through the prophets, man, to tell you how to move and to do, man. The same was happening with Moses. The same was happening with Isaiah. The same with all the prophets, man, of old, man. The Heavenly Father speaks to his prophets, man, to tell our people, man. You see? So why are you proud, man? Why are you proud, man? That's why the Heavenly Father said, Jacob, my worm. Because you, we are nothing in the eyes of the Heavenly Father, man. You see? All the you. That's why Esau's proud, walking around like he doing everything. The Heavenly Father controls him, man. He's the, he's the whooping stick of the Heavenly Father on the left-hand side. And if you're on the left-hand side, you're on the, on, the, on the side of Satan, man. It's like these stupid Christians tell you that uh, Satan uh, uh, rebels against the Heavenly Father. That is all a lie. The, 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 the angels, the demons, everybody listen. All F -R is order in the heavens, man. They're doing the bidding of the Heavenly Father, man. What he tells them to do, man. Good and evil, man. He controls both spectrums, man. And that is a big lie that these Christians, these, uh, these Edomites, was pushing in, man. You see? Because that is not their, uh, their book, man. They are liars, man. That's why the Heavenly Father did bless them with the Spirit, man. To know these things, these dark sayings, these parables, man. You see? That's why a lot of people left Christianity because they was like, hey, it's all fantasy, man. You see? But, hey, man, go back to the point. Jake is selling the soul for cheap, man. They think now, oh, I got three cars, I got big houses, but like a brother always sit in the camp, man. But after that, you know, they're sitting in the Lamborghini, bleeding out of their uh, out of their behinds, man. Bleeding on the seat, man. 
I always must laugh because that is what it is, man. You, 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 your belly button hitting the table, you see, and an old, crusty, musty, dusty Edomite is taking you from the back for your so-called riches, man. Is that, is that, your whole integrity, your whole manhood, everything, is that worth it? Is that worth it? It's A, hey, man. Ugh, to think about that, man. That you cheap like that, man. Selling your soul, man. For riches and fame. Only to be humiliated, man. Wow. You see? So that is what is going on in this game, man. In this game of the Edomites, man. In this world, man. Because this is their world on this uh, in this particular moment, man. The Heavenly Father set them up to be the wicked of the earth. Always pursuing the book of uh, Job chapter 9, verse 24, man. The earth is given into the hands of the wicked. And that's why it's, the earth is totally out of course, man. Of the rulership of these wicked devils, man. Because they are ruling the earth in wickedness, man. That's why the people are mourning, man. The whole world is mourning. The creation is mourning. Because they are a rulership, man. GMO food. The air is polluted. All kinds of wicked laws they're pushing. Huh? Draconian laws. These devils are something, man. They are created to be like that, man. You see? That's why they don't. Ha they hate uprightness, man. They hate if you come in the volume of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh man. Because they are against it. These devils are really contra Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, man. You see? And that is that vibration that they're pushing. They want to be God, man. And that is that that is what they want to do, man. But they need to get rid of the real children of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. And that's why they're doing these things to, uh, towards us, man. You see? Because Jake got that 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 uh, shine. If we are doing something, everybody is following, and especially the tribe of Judah, man. That is mainly in America, Babylon the Great, man. Everybody everybody wants to be a rapper. Everybody wants to do what Jake is doing, play basketball. F they really idolizing us, man. You see? When Jake is doing something, they always be in awe. Because you are peculiar people, man. Matter of fact, before I go to the other scripture. Let me get it, man. Uh, Deuteronomy uh, 14. Uh, let me get it in the other. Uh, let me get it over here in the Blue Letter Bible. It is Deuteronomy chapter 14. And go, if we go straight to the point, uh, bear with me. Yeah, I was in the 14, I think. I think I skipped it. Come. Yeah, man. Salakia. This is Deuteronomy chapter 14, verse 2. For thou art a holy people unto the Lord thy power, and the Lord had chosen thee to be a peculiar people unto himself above all the nations that are upon the earth. You see? The heavenly father, the creator of all, the earth, everything, of, of everybody. He chose us to be his special people, man. You see? But we felt off of our grace, man. We sinned against the Lord. That's why he is our father, man. And he was like, hey, man, he was vexed with us, man. That's why he put us in this situation that we are in, man. But Jake is a, really a peculiar people, man. We are really a peculiar people. We are the salt of the earth, man. And these devils, that's why they try to put you down with, you know, to create images uh, like uh, uh, Cesare Boshe acting like they are the Heavenly Father, that they are our gods and that they are the Israelites, that they, uh, they are everybody, but, uh, uh, but never talk about that they are the Edomites. Let's, let's talk about that. <laughs> they don't want to talk about it. They don't make movies that, hey, about the Edomites because they are the Edomites, the, the cursed people of the Heavenly Father, man. You see? So let me go back to the point, you know. Uh, this is Proverbs. Because, hey, man, Jake, you are really special people, man. But you, you don't know, man. And that's why the prophets are here, man. This is Proverbs, Proverbs chapter 12 at first. Uh, let us jump straight to the point, verse 26. The righteous is more excellent than his neighbor, but the way of the wicked seduces them. You see? 
So, and the wicked, who's the wicked? Going back to the book of uh, Job, chapter 9, verse 24, Esau, Edom, you know, the, the way of the wicked seduces them. And if you want to know who's the wicked, go to the book of Malachi, chapter 1, you know, and you can still read uh, from 1 till 4, man. And then the, the, the Lord is going to explain, uh, explain it, man. It is talking about Esau, Edom, the border of wickedness, you see? I ain't going over there for time's sake, you know, but that is what it is, man. They are the wicked that the Heavenly Father uh, speaks about, man, the Edomites, man. And that's why they don't want to be the Edomites, because they know that the Heavenly Father hates them, man, that they are a cursed people. That's why the rulership ain't going to be for long, man. They are set up for a, for, a, for a moment of time in this world, man. And then the, the whole hegemony, everything is going to be destroyed, man, of the face of the earth, man. We ain't going to see Edomites very soon anymore, man. You see, they're going to be slavery, and after a thousand years, the heavenly father is going to destroy them, man. So does it the Lord, Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh, man. You see, that's why they hate the Bible, because they know that they are cursed, man. Damn devils, man. So lucky, yeah, man. You see, but yeah, man. So Jake, is the, he's the excellent man. He's the righteous man, you see. And he's excellent more than his neighbor, because why? We are peculiar people, man. The heavenly father chooses us above all the nations of the earth, man. And that is what it is, man. And if you don't like it, take it up with uh, our Father, Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai, man. Take it up with the Lord, man, who created you, your ass and everybody else, man. That's why these Christians always start to put themselves in like, yeah, God loves everybody. It's not true, man. He chooses a particular people on this earth, man. And that's the Israelites, man. And that's why you try to force yourself to be us, <laughs> you damn devils, man. You see? So that is what it is, man. And that's why Jake is being destroyed because why? They're selling their soul, man. They're taking these bribes of these devils, man. You see? In this in the in the game, man. In the in the in the in the music game, in the in the mo in the movies and you know, in Hollywood, they're taking these bribes. That's why they get invited uh, invited at these parties to do what? These rituals, man. You see, and if they see that you're complying, then you're going to get a little bit crumbs from the master's table. And that is the way it goes, man. You see, and now you and then they're going to set you as an example that you can be, uh, be an example for your for your black community, black community. You see why to further destroy us, man. Because you're going to take an example like I want to be like him, too, man. I want to be like her, too, man. You see. But they only put put for degenerates, man. You see, that is leading to our destruction. The community is being destroyed. You see, and that is what these devils are doing on purpose, man. Don't forget, man. These devils had us in slavery constantly, man, till the day of today, man. They are controlling everything what you are doing, man. They are controlling your food. They are controlling every aspect of your life, man. And they ain't mean well with you, man. And you, and you, Jakes, you think that these devils mean well with you. Yeah, we are not in slavery anymore. You still are in slavery, man. You have your social security number. All these things are slavery, man. You don't have your own army. You don't have your own nation. You have nothing, man. You're being controlled by these devils, man. And that's just the facts. These are facts. You see? So let me go, uh, because Jake is getting bribed by these devils, man. So let me go to another scripture. Bear with me. Khan, this is the book of uh, Sirach, and I'm going to read it in the Good News Translation, the Apocrypha, uh, chapter 20 and verse 29. Gifts and bribes make uh, even the wise blind to the truth and prevent them from being honest in their criticism. And that is exactly what's happening with uh, Mos Def, because Mos Def was really criticizing uh you know, uh, a, a liar Cohen, so I call him like that, you know, that that, that small head, you know, that have the, these 360 deals. He was criticizing th that whole game that, hey, they all control our music. You see, they are telling you what to say, man, in the music, man. Because before we had positive music, man, you have uh, Jake, you know, was pushing it uh, that uh, we, uh, our people need to stay true to each other, you know, uh, do your things good in the community, no shooting, all these madness. We didn't, uh, Jake was not rapping about that. This, these devils came, slipped in because they saw like, hey, man, we had our own thing. And always if we have something good, these devils try to break it up. Really, it is the Heavenly Father because it is not time that we become a strong nation again. Because we have to serve our captivity. The Heavenly Father, Yahweh Shai, He will come up, uh, He will rise to the prey, man. You see? 
here you will come for these devils, you know. So it was not the time that we uh, became a strong nation again, man. So the Heavenly Father have to do, has to do this, that these devils come in. Every time we do something good, these devils come in to break it up, man. You see? And that is basically what is happening, man. These devils are always coming, slithering through, you know, and take the things over what we have, man. If we have something good going on, man. And uh, 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 tainted or everything, man. Poisoning everything, man. You see? Because that is what they do. So... Now, most deaf, now he cannot criticize them anymore because why? They have them now in a dress, man. He sold himself so he can have no, uh, he cannot criticize these devils anymore, man. Because he had the song, uh, uh, Bear With Me, man. Yeah, man, this is this song, man, The Rape Over, Song of Most Deaf. Listen, old white man is running this rap shit, corporate force running this rap shit. Some tall Israeli, and that was talking about that uh, that that demon man, uh, uh, Laya Cohen. You know, you see, running this rap shit. We poke out our asses for a chance to cash in. Cocaine is running this rap shit. I ain't gonna read it, but this was uh, most deaf back in the days. You know, criticizing these devils, what they was doing, man, to uh, to the rap game. And look at him now, man. And he's gone. They got him, man. And now he cannot criticize them anymore, man. Like we was reading in uh, the GNT. Uh, GT, uh, yeah, the GNT, man. The Good News Translation, man. Apocrypha. You see? So, it is done, man. But this was this lyrics that he had, man. He was really... And I was, hey, man. I was really effing with him. Because, you know, he was, he was saying these things, man. You see? So, yeah, man. I was... take uh, to Because uh, the brother from GMS Vegas sit down, you know. The elder, the elder, you know, he made the video also, and I, I was inspired by that man, and that's why I made this video too, man. You see, this was was uh, what's what's this was uh, most deaf man back in the days, man, and now he he is gone. You see, wearing dresses, he's been compromised, man. Yeah, man. So let me go back. So yeah, man, you see it, man. So gifts and bribes make even the wise blind to the truth and prevent them from being honest in the criticism yeah because if you take the uh, take the back you done for it man you done for it man these devils got you and you cannot criticize them anymore but yeah, yeah you know you know what you did <laughs> we have you on we have you on camera you remember the last party uh uh billy you remember that the last party that we had <laughs> yeah in the room you you bending over <laughs> you forget that <laughs> so be silent because yeah, these tapes are gonna leak out about you you know and that's why they put you in a dress they humiliate you so you can say nothing anymore so everything that you were standing for you know <laughs> it's gone man your integrity is gone man you see and these devils always try to break your integrity man because that is what they're all about man you see so yeah, man. So let me go to another scripture. You know. So let me go to another scripture. This is the book of uh, First Timothy. Cause hey, man, money, man, the love for money, man, is is breaking up a lot of our people, man. It's destroying them, man. You see. The love for money. Uh, this is First Timothy chapter 6 and verse 10. For the love of money is the root of all evil, which while some coveted after, they have erred from the faith and pierced themselves through with many sorrows. Yeah, because it brings only many sorrows, man. You see, now you need to uh, compromise yourself. Now you lost your integrity. You cannot stand with your back straight like, hey, man, I ain't going to do it. Because you take in bribes, because the gifts destroy the heart, pursuing the book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 7 and verse 7. That is what it is, man. You see? It is destroying you, man, taking gifts from these devils, man. So now everything is gone, man. You see? Because why? You're greedy for that money, man. But hey, you lost your soul. You sold your soul onto the devil. What, you, what do you have, man? Better keep your integrity, man. You see? So, yeah, man. So, and, you know, because people always say, yeah, love for money. It is uh, that the mo money is evil. It's not the money is evil. It is the thought behind it, you know? Because we all, we all need money, man. 
you see, to sustain yourself. That's why we always pray like amen for our daily bread, you see, to the Heavenly Father, man, so that he can sustain us with the things that we need, man. Not too much, not too, too little that you're poor, but to sustain yourself, man, you see, because money is really a defense. Matter of fact, let me go over there, the book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 7. Because that is what it is, man. And go uh, to verse 12. For wisdom is a defense, and money is a defense. But the excellency of knowledge is that, is that wisdom giveth life to them, to them that have it. Yeah, and wisdom is everything, man. And wisdom comes from the Heavenly Father, knowing these scriptures, you know, know how to, to, to behave in life, you know, to, to, to know what you are doing. Study these scriptures because the scriptures is life, man. It's giving you wisdom, Sophia. You see? It's bringing and giving you that, that. That's why, man, before, if you not know this truth, man, you are a brute beast before the Heavenly Father, man. Even uh, if I'm correct, correct me if I'm wrong, even I think Reagan said it, that the Bible is really, you don't need no other book, man. That's why always America was a so-called uh, 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 Bible uh, country, man. They were always upholding the Bible high. Because why? The values of the Bible, man. If you follow that, you can never go wrong, man. You see? But the people nowadays, they are degenerate, they leave it because why? It has been pushed by a satanic agenda from these elites, man, that are really uh, 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 satanists, man. You see? Practicing all kinds of occults, sex magic, uh, Alistair, McCrawley, uh, Alistair uh, Crawley. All these things is what they are doing, man, and pushing that vibration upon the whole world. And the people nowadays, they don't look it to the Heavenly Father, the Holy One of Israel anymore, man. And for especially our people, man. You see? So, yeah, man. Uh, let me go to another scripture. Because, hey, man, if you love this this world, man, if you're down with, uh, with this world, man, the Father, hey, the Heavenly Father ain't down with you, man. You see? This is the book of First John. Uh, chapter 2, and let me go to the point, and verse 15, do not love the world, you see, love not the world, neither the things that are in the world, if any man love the world, the love of the Father is not in him, so if you love this world so much that you are ready to sell your soul, you know, throw away all your, your, your integrities, throw away all your morals, only you, because you love this world. Only you want to hug this world, to stay in this world. You see? Hey, the Heavenly Father ain't going to dwell with you. He ain't, he ain't got no love for you, man. You are an enemy of the Heavenly Father if you are doing that, man. You see? And especially spoken to our people, man. You Israelites, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. And the speckled bird that look like the heathen nations, man. You see? The Heavenly Father ain't have love for you, man, if you love this world, man. What is to love in this world, matter of fact, man? Nothing, man. It is ruled by wicked, degenerate devils, man. Why you would love this world, man? Hey, we, you know, Yahweh Atasa, we don't love this world, man. You see? We don't hold dear on this world, man. We love our life unto, we don't love our life, man, unto death, man. Because we are waiting for the new world to come, man. The new kingdom, man. New Jerusalem, man, here on earth, man, you see? And then we're going to love the world, man, if these devils are gone out of rulership, man, you see? Because this empire is going to fall, man. It ain't going to stay, and those who want that this stay, that means you love this world, man, and the Heavenly Father ain't down with you, man. That is, hey, you, you, you hey, you have, the Heavenly Father is going to be angry with you, man, you see? Matter of fact, let me get this, man, it is enmity with the Lord, man, if you're doing that, man. This is James chapter 4, verse 4. Ye adulterers and you and adulteresses, know ye not that friendship of the world is an, uh, enmity with the heavenly father Yahweh, whosoever therefore will be a friend of the world is an enemy of the heavenly father Yahweh. So you're gonna be you are an enemy of the Lord, man, if you love this world, man. If you want that this world is need to continue further. Oh no, I want to hold dear to all my uh, all my riches and my materialistic things. This world, I love it. The Heavenly Father, you're the enemy of the Lord, man. That is what it is, man. The Heavenly Father ain't dealing with you, man. You see? 
Are you going to be destroyed with these devils together, man? You see? We're joining hand in hand. Both the, the wicked gonna not going to be on, on punishment, roughly paraphrase. So you're going to, if you join uh, onto these devils, you're going to be destroyed with these devils, man. You see? And that's why you're seeing Jake, man, is in a degenerate state, man. Jake is gone. You see it, man? Jake is gone. Jake is, whew. You see it, man? Wearing dresses. You see? And this whole countenance, uh, countenance change, man. When you see most deaf, you see uh, when, uh, how he looked before. You see his whole countenance change, man, by wearing a dress, man. Now he got that real, you know, that real uh, a, a sodomite, a sodomite countenance. You see, that's why the Heavenly Father forbid us to wear women dresses, man, and uh, and uh, vice versa, man. Because you see these butch women walk in, you know, like they are a man. It's all all madness, man. It's all upside down, man. It's crazy. You see? So that is what we see. In matter of fact, let me go to the scripture, man. Bear with me, man. Bear with me. This is the book of Isaiah. Uh, yeah. Chapter 3. And verse 9, the shoe, the shoe of the countenance doth witness against them, and they declare their sin, uh, they, uh, so like, uh, they declare their sin as Sodom, they hide it not. Woe unto their soul, for they have rewarded evil unto themselves. You see? So they have rewarded evil unto themselves, man, to wear women dresses, man, to act like, uh, to be uh, of the skittle agenda, man. You see? The Heavenly Father don't like you, man. That's why he destroyed Sodom and Gomorrah, man. And their faces, that's why I was saying the countenance of, if you, you see it in the, I always recognize immediately if somebody is uh, from the Skittle agenda, man. I see it in their face, man. The countenance is like demons are upon them. So the countenance is changing, man. You see it in their eyes, man. And I'm an observer. I always see things very quickly like, hey, okay. You see? Because that is what it is, man. Because that is the spirit of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh man. And that's why you rewarded evil upon yourself, man. So our people who are involved in death, they have you rewarded evil uh, onto yourself. And these elite devils know that's why this, they are pushing this uh, agenda upon our people, man. To be degenerate, man. You see? And the Heavenly Father ain't down with that, man. He want to see his beautiful, peculiar people like we was reading. He want to see a beautiful people, man, and follow his laws, man. Not the laws of uh, some devils, man. You see? So let me go to the book of Deuteronomy. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 32. And verse 32. For the vine is of a vine of Sodom, and the fields of Gomorrah, their grapes are grapes of gal, their clusters are bitter. So the heavenly father look at us, he'd be like, ugh, wow, we're horrible. We are not his people on this particular moment, man. And I mean these two-thirds, man, who live in like the heathen living, man, who follow in all these wicked things that the, the, the heathen customs, man, be degenerate like they are, man. Acting like the Skittles, man. Acting like the transition people, man. The Heavenly Father is is uh, puking you out, man. He be like, ugh, horrible. You see? And he compares us like a vine. You see? A, a vine in the field, a nice vine. Because that is the way he uh, compares us, man. You see? Matter of fact, let me show you. In, uh, in the book of uh, Jeremiah... Chapter 2. Because he compares us like that, man. And go straight to the point. Verse 21. Yet I have planted thee a noble vine, holy, a right seed. How then art thou turned into the degenerate plant of a strange vine unto me? So he, we was a very nice vine. We was holy, the, the, the good seed, man. 
the good vine. He created us very good, man. But now we turn degenerate. The heavenly father people, how you turned out to, uh, uh, out like that, man? How do, What has happened with you Israelites, man? You so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, man. You are really bleh, horrible, disgusting now, man. Bitter, you know, if you eat the grapes of this fine, you'll be like, ah, you spit them out because it is degenerate, it's not good, man. It's, it's not good fruit. You see? So the Heavenly Father be like, hey, what's, what, hey, what a guan, man. <laughs> like the Jamaican uh, said, man. Ben Yam Yan, man. What a guan, man. What's happening with y'all, man? How you became like that, man? You see? So uh, let me go to the book of Isaiah to show you, you know. Um, chapter 5 because hey man that is Jake now man and we're going to read this in the NLT uh, a song about the Lord's vineyard and we the Israelites we are the Lord's vineyard man you see now I will sing for the one I love a song about his vineyard my beloved had a vineyard on a rich and fertile hill he plowed the land cleared its stones and planted it with the best vines from all the vines, we are the best, the holy people, from all above all the nations. So that's the way he compared the Israelites, man. You see, in the middle, he built a watchtower and carved a wine press in the nearby rocks. Then he waited for a harvest of sweet grapes, but the grapes that grew were bitter. So our people became degenerate. You see, not good grapes, man. Because if you are bitter, is you spit it out. You don't want that. You want that. If you 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 know ripe, good grapes, man. You eat it. You be like, oh, this is good grapes, man. Not sour, not bitter. It's really good, man. Tasty. You know, good for making wine. You see. Now, uh, you people of Jerusalem and Judah, you judge between me and my vineyard. What more could I have done for my vineyard that I have not already done? When I expected sweet grapes, why did my vineyard give me bitter grapes? Yeah, because the Heavenly Father, Yahweh Bashem Yashai, did everything for us, man. We went in Egypt in captivity, man. He, he, he took us out, man. With great, every nation was afraid for us, man. Because the power of Yahweh Bashem Yashai was with us, man. And these fucking devils know that, that, that we are those people, man. That's why they were afraid. All these nations were afraid of us, man. Because why? We had our father, man. Yahweh Bashem Yashai was walking with us, man. You see? And he took us out many captivities. He did a lot for us, man. Cre he, he made Israel, man. He, he took us out of the jungle, man. Created Israel, man. He did everything for us, man. And still, we went off, man, against the Heavenly Father, Yahweh Bashem Yahweh man. He did everything for us, man. And what we did, how we paid them back, to, to commit fornication with other gods, man. To, to like to be like these other heathens, man. What the hell, man? Yeah, sometimes these things where you're thinking about it and reading it, you're being mad. You get like, hey, man, our people are really, hey, man, it's just a wonder that the Heavenly Father is still dealing with us, man. Because, hey, the things that we did, man, we deserve death, man. And that's why you, you be crying, what is happening to us? Why are we living in this condition? Because of things that our forefathers did, man. Until the day of today, what you Jakes are doing, like uh, what you see in here on, uh, on the video that I put out, man. Being degenerates, man. You see? And still, we, 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 the Heavenly Father, we didn't give, still, the, the, still we, we didn't uh, respect it, and still we didn't give the, all the praises to the Heavenly Father, Yahweh Bashem Yahshai, man, for the things that he did to us, man. Still, we went off, man. Now let, uh, now, let me tell you what I will do to my vineyard. I will tear down its hatches and let it be destroyed. And that is what is going to happen with two thirds of our people, man, because the Heavenly Father is going to keep the sweet grapes, and that are the elect. Of the heavenly father of israel you see and two-thirds of our people gonna be destroyed man pursuing the book of uh zechariah chapter 13 and 8 man you see i will break down its walls and let the animals trample it i will make it a wild place where the vines are not pruned and the ground is not hood a place overgrown with briars and thorns I will command the clouds to drop no rain on it. And really, basically, you can see the Israel of now, the Heavenly Father cursed that land now, man. That's why nothing grows over there, man. The land is a desert. You see? Because of our transgression uh, to, uh, towards Yahweh Shem Yahweh man. You see? But he's going to restore everything 
in the new kingdom, man. Everything is going to be restored, man. When these devils, these Amalekites are out of, uh, out of there, the Heavenly Father is going to uh, restore everything, man. Because they, they, these devils, they, the Heavenly Father is going to get them out of the land. They don't belong over there, man. They are not the people, man. You see? Uh, the nations of Israel, the nation of Israel is the vineyard of the Lord, uh, of the Lord of heaven's armies. You see, the Lord of hosts, man. And the, hey, the Lord is a man of war. People think that the Lord is all lobby dobby. That's why the wars and everything what is happening is all the Lord is doing that, man. He is mustering the, na the nations to battle, man. He's a man of war, man. You see? The people of Judah are his pleasant garden. He expected a crop of justice, but instead he found oppression. He expected to find righteousness, but instead he heard cries of violence. And our people messed it up totally, man. Judah, all the tribes fighting and doing all kinds of wickedness, you know. Uh, 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 offering, uh, offering uh, to idols, all these things what we did. And the Heavenly Father was like, hey, there is no justice because if we follow the, 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 the scriptures, there is everything, man. The laws, the statutes, the commandments, man. You see? So that is, but we lost it, man. We did what we want. We didn't give the Heavenly Father his, 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 his praises and his due, man. That is what is happening, man. That's why a lot of you two-thirds in the second death, you know, and that is going to be with thermal nuclear missiles in America, Babylon the Great, you know, you're going to perish, man. The Heavenly Father is going to destroy Jake, man. Two-thirds of our people, man, is going to be destroyed, man. You see? Hey, the other nations, the Heavenly Father, a lot of them are going to be destroyed. Don't worry. But our people, the Israelites, two-thirds who don't want to come back to Yahweh Bashem Yahushai, the Heavenly Father is going to destroy you, man. That is what it is. Matter of fact, let me go to the last scripture that I'm going to close out. Let me go to the last scripture. Uh, this is 2nd Esdras. Chapter 9. Let me go straight to the point, man. This is 2nd Esdras, chapter 9, and verse 22. Um, yeah, let me start with 21. And I saw and spared it greatly and have kept uh no let me start with 20. uh so i considered the world and behold there was a peril because of the devices that were come into it and i saw and i spared it greatly and have kept me a grape of the cluster and the plant of a great people and that he means us and that means only the elect he deal the heavenly father on this round this go <laughs> he only deals with the elect he don't deal with uh everybody from israel man because the heavenly father ain't playing man you know the, the general plant that strange fine that strange plant he gonna destroy a lot of us man you see but he gonna kept his elect the one third you know the the, the, the sweet grapes he gonna keep uh, keep them man uh first uh first 22 let the multitude perish then which was born in vain. So if you are born in vain, if you are, it's, you know, if you are two third, you are born in vain because every father going to destroy you, man. And let my grave be, uh, let my grave be kept and my plan for with great labor have I made it perfect. And really, the heavenly father made the Israelites perfect, man. Peculiar people, man. He made us perfect, man. You see? And we're going to be restored, man. Hey, we, hey, we're going to get spiritual powers, everlasting life. That is the new kingdom to come, man. We're going to be mini-gods, man, under the rulership of Yahweh Shai, man, the king of kings, man. You know, the, the house of David is going to be rest being restored again, man. Real man. <laughs> you see? And we're going to tell all these other nations to honor and praise Yahweh Bashem Yahushai. We're going to put everybody on the subject uh, subjugation, man. That is what is going to happen, man. They ain't going to be playing around, man. If the Heavenly Father, man, hey, we're waiting for the new kingdom, man, to do what the Heavenly Father wants from us, man. And then we're going to be restored. We're going to be good again, man. You know, the shame is going to be turned uh, into glory, man. Because we need it. We need saving from Yahweh Shai, man. He need to send his son, man. Our brother, our big brother, man. And he's waiting. He cannot wait to come back on this earth, man. To wreak havoc, man. That is what is going to happen. That's why we see these things are happening now on this earth, man. Because these are the signs that we had to look for, man. 
for the second coming of our Savior, Yahweh Shai, man. You see? And through the scriptures, through the great men of a, a, a great millstone, you know, the apostles, we can see these things, the breakdowns, we see these things. We understand these dark sayings. We see these signs, man. We are not going to be surprised for the things that is about to come on this earth, man. You see, like others going to do, man. They're going to be all in surprise when the day of, the, the day of judgment is going to come, man. You see? So with that, I hope you've been edified. I want to give the highest honor, glory, and all praise to Yahweh, Ba'asham, Yahweh Shai, Ba'asham, Rachak, Wadash, Shalom. Salute the most death. I got to keep it real. Nasty work, y'all. Look what he posted. Look what he posted on Instagram, y'all, on social media. This man is wearing a dress. Who would have thought most deaf is wearing a dress? Now, I'm going to keep it 10,000, y'all. They got him. They got him. They got him. There's nothing else to say. They I don't usually do this, but... Uh... That most deaf, but you tripping. You really tripping, my boy. You go from goddamn telling Drake he not hip hop to putting on a goddamn Roddy Roddy Piper dress like a wrestler. So that's what hip hop is, bro. I never in my life do lame shit like that. I feel like this lame, but bro, I got to say something, bro. That shit lame with the fuck you did. Now you just made that really look like hip hop, and you look like a hater. FY Cardi. A thong, my nigga? Oh my god. <laughs> Why the fuck is you in a thong, fool? I had so much hope for you, gang. You scammed my nigga Aiden. I said, fuck that. You hit your girlfriend, I said, fuck that. Why do you have a thong on? Painting nails and shit, kissing out and shit. We're going like these, what's wrong with you, my nigga? We Yourself, be free, baby. Yeah. Yeah, baby, see, I'm back in my zone. Just when I need my mom. And I've been in hell the same mode. They got another one. They got Usher to wear a dress. That's a damn shame. In the black culture, that they always make them wear dresses and skirts if they want to get put on. Who, who was we? Were gonna... And then who's doing the Super Bowl? Oh, yeah. Is he black Irish? Uh, Good evening, Usher. How you doing tonight? All right, all right. How are you? I'm doing fine. Even better now you're here. All right, give me a look over here, Usher. Give me that great smile over here. Give me that Super Bowl. Give me that Super Bowl smile, Usher. Give me that Super Bowl smile. You got more money on that necklace than I got my house right here.